Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, my name is Roman and uh, I was uh, making this footage from Macy's, uh, one of our local Macy's stores has liquidation sale, they're going out of business and uh, closing down this particular location and uh, I already made a footage for you guys before from this uh, Macy's and I was uh, trying to find out that day if... Uh, they can have a uh, better sale, better liquidation sale on cosmetics. Um, as you can see from the images and uh, advertising, they had 60% uh, uh, off sale on some stuff. And then they had 10% off sale on uh, cosmetics. Some cosmetics were 20% off. It was kind of weird because I was looking at Clinique and uh, Elizabeth Arden and... Uh, Estee Lauder stuff, which I tried to get, but uh, with that particular sale for with ten percent off, there was not enough money to be uh, to make uh, in terms of reselling it because the prices were still high. And I asked uh, their employees if uh, they're gonna have like eighty percent or ninety percent off sale on cosmetics, and they said no. Uh, most likely it's not going to happen because the company that runs uh, liquidation for Macy's, uh, they, uh, I, I'm not sure what they're going to do with stuff that doesn't sell during the liquidation. And um, I think cosmetics, jewelry and watches and stuff like that, high-end stuff, they probably uh, either will sell as like a bulk type of uh, scenario or just... Uh, if, if it doesn't sell, they will just take it to their other Macy store, you know, to put it there. Because I think it's not in their interest to drop down the price to more than 20% on, on that kind of high-end stuff. I think some other stuff there also will not go on a huge sale. Because in my opinion, I think they're just gonna uh, take it to their other Macy store. It's not like Macy is completely going out of business in our area, it's just some stores. Uh, I think in our area, this is the one that actually that's close to me that's closing. Be other ones in Ohio, I think they gonna still have uh, other stores still open. Uh, I know Macy's uh, have been closing different areas, different stores in different cities, states, but they're not completely uh, going out of business. If they were completely going out of business, then it was a different would be a different story. Of course, they will be liquidating it for more. And uh, the liquidation uh, sales will be higher in terms of the percentage uh, of sales. So, as you can see here, the shoes were 40% off. And uh, I was actually recently there again and uh, the shoes were 60% off already. But uh, the brands of the shoes are really generic, nothing high-end. I think they, uh, lo looking at their stuff that they had still at that particular day except cosmetics and watches and some other stuff i think closing in terms of closing they uh, either moved their uh, high-end stuff to other maces and that's what i think will happen i think uh, i came by later uh, that same week because that footage from uh, was about two weeks ago and they, they had didn't have any uh, high-end cosmetics in their cabinets anymore and apparently their employee told me they actually decided to move some cosmetics to other Macy's stores so that's what I was kind of thinking would happen because there's other stores are still open in some areas uh, of the state so it's actually they're not gonna lose profit or they're not gonna just uh, sell product at 80 or 90 percent off to just get rid of it, you know, so I was pretty sure that they will just take it and uh, just move their high-end uh, brands and stuff to their other Macy store and leave all the unbranded type of products or high, like low-end products in that particular store to be liquidated, you know, so that other store will not be overfilled with their uh, with unnecessary inventory, so yeah, and this is downstairs, that's their other area, it's called Backstage 
which they what they're actually called right now for the liquidation and the way it works uh, that particular area is that the prices were uh, kind of uh, half off but uh, when I picked out uh, the stuff that I wanted at that day which I picked up some toys uh, they uh, there were some that were kind of make I mean for me it would make sense to pick it up to resell but the prices were like five dollars off from their original price so if something was twenty four ninety nine that day price was I mean original price was twenty four ninety nine they only dropped at five dollars off so it was nineteen ninety nine or eighteen ninety nine so. Uh, I mean, it didn't make any sense for me to pick it up to resell and uh, I would not make any money. So that's why I think that particular uh, liquidation for Macy's is not something that would favor resellers such as me because I think high-end stuff and the stuff that's popular and the stuff that sells, uh, Macy's just move, well, I mean, already or will move to another Macy's. So they not gonna lose any money on that. So I was kind of uh, pretty pretty sure about that. You'll see me here. I was looking at the uh, board games, which were also low end, uh, very kind of bad stuff that they just decided to liquidate. And even with that price, it was really no point for me to pick it up because the price was like I said, five dollars off each of uh, from original price. So. For me to resell, there was no point to even pick it up. But I still picked up, like, I think Namco uh, TV game, the plug-and-play game with uh, Pac-Man and stuff like that, as you know, one of those Namco TV games uh, that you plug into your TV to play. It wasn't a vintage one, it was just a rip-up of some kind of brand. But it was low enough for me to make some money on it, so I picked up, like, three or four of them, I don't remember exactly. And uh, there were other stuff like Maisto, uh, Diecast, which were not priced good enough for me to pick up to resell. Uh, I mean, it would be good for someone to just pick it up if it was like $5 off for someone to just uh, give it as a gift or pick it up for themselves to collect. That would make sense. But uh, still, the prices were high for any type of reseller to make any... Um, be, to have any meat on the bone, as they say. <laughs> To make any money on so uh, this game I actually looked it up and uh, I put it back I, I thought it will be worth something but it wasn't worth anything uh, and there were some uh, Hot Wheels stuff as you see and some plush and it uh, some action figures which were generic even the stuff that was from Avengers was not good enough to pick up to resell it was like $20 for that particular box over there and so, I mean, the prices were still high. Uh, I hope maybe, uh, hopefully towards uh, beginning of March, maybe middle of March, where they are supposed to close, apparently, the price will be uh, maybe on that particular stuff that you're looking at right now, uh, will be 80% off, because that stuff really is generic, nothing high-end. And if it goes down to maybe like $2 per box per a toy or game or maybe like hopefully a dollar uh it will be great i mean i would come in and just pick it up and uh, get a lot of it but uh i mean it wasn't worth for me to pick it up uh, for the prices they had uh, which they call a liquidation i mean same goes with shoes same goes with clothing i mean the prices were really high um, and even after i came back uh, a little bit later in the week they still had those same prices nothing was dropped and I talked to their employee and she said she doesn't even know when they're going to have another liquidation. I mean, another type of sale where it's going to be around 80%. She doesn't think it's going to happen because I think it, the Macy's will just move everything to their other store. So thanks guys for watching this particular clip. I really appreciate it. Subscribe to my channel and leave comments and hit the bell. And uh, thanks for watching. Stay safe and God bless.